Hey guys, um, so I got this, I'm so excited, 23andMe, um, so first I'm going to put my saliva here, but before I can put my saliva here, I have to uh, wait for 30 minutes, no eating, no drinking, even water, right, so I already uh, did that uh, for 30 minutes at least, and then uh, you need to register to your uh, kit, right, and so they'll give you, they'll give you this box basically, and you open it, and then inside it will be this, um, like, uh, instruction manual, and then you have to register it on this website, right, and then you have to, I think there's uh, three things uh, that you have, you have to agree, first you have to agree with the terms and conditions, which I kind of like uh, brush it, I just uh, agree. Second, you have to uh, agree or y you don't have to agree with um, uh, they're using uh, your, uh, your, your um, uh, DNA genome as a, as, as a research, um, uh, for research. Uh, so that one you can agree or you can give a consent or not to have a consent, right? So that's the second one. And then the other one is, I, so I thought that was done. The other one is to agree if you give them a consent for individual, uh, individual uh, uh, DNA research. So the, the, the first one is just to, uh, they will kind of like pull every, uh, all of the DNA uh, genome from other people, right, that uh, uses the 23 me service. They just pull it together. So it's not uh, kind of like linked to who you are, right? The, the second consent is, is, is an individual DNA genome uh, used for research. That one is a bit scary because even though even that they uh, will uh, de-individualize your uh, DNA genome, meaning they will, um, the, because every DNA genome is linked to a person, right? So they will individualize means that they will unlink it, right? And they will, uh, if you consent, they will use that uh, individualized DNA genome for research. But still, there is still a risk if somebody could uh, breach into their system or into the, the, the system of their shared partners, and somehow that person can link it, your ID towards the, the DNA genome, then that person could like give it to the insurance company, you know, and if insurance company use that uh, data, then uh, um, it could affect your, uh, your 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 insurance like rates, right? Especially if you know the insurance company knows that your DNA genome has a high risk, high probability risk of certain disease, right? They wouldn't even want to insure it. So. Uh, for now, that's kind of risky for me because I don't want that to happen. It, although probably the chances are quite small, but still I do not consent for in the individual uh, uh, DNA genome research. And then there's the fourth one. The fourth one is the um, to give a consent whether you agree that they will store your DNA uh, genome for like I think one year at least, and up to like ten years something like that. For uh, you know so that they can like um, if there's a newer technologies that are more uh, effective or they think is more uh, powerful, then they can use because right now they're I think they're using I don't know a certain technology like X. Probably in the next year they will uh, uh, get a newer technology which is Y, which is supposed to be uh, more accurate, and they will can use your sample again if if you consent if, because they will store this this sample basically or uh, not the actual saliva but probably the DNA of the saliva. Your saliva, right? Um, so yeah, so there's I think four things that you have to kind of like uh, uh, read, uh, but uh, the things that uh, makes me concerned is just the individual DNA genome. That one I, I didn't uh, con consent, but the rest I just give. I trust the 23 and me. So now, um, well, yeah. The, oh no, should I show my barcode to, to you guys? I shouldn't do that. Okay, I'll, I'll just delete it. Okay, before I publish it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put my saliva here on this tube, and then after that, um, I think I have to like remove this thing, right? Um, so put my saliva until until a certain level here, and then I'm gonna close the funnel. Once I close the funnel, I'm gonna remove this, and then I'm gonna put on this thing here to screw it, right? And then I'm gonna put it into this um uh, this biohazard uh, specimen bag. Right, and then seal it, and then I think I'm gonna put it inside the this bag. So this bag already comes with um, um, postage, uh, post. I mean, um, 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 what do you call this? Uh, a package with them to be a post. Uh, um, yeah, it's a post postage. Yeah, postage. Okay. And then you just put it in here, and then you uh, peel if the peel this thing, and then you you just ship it, close it, and ship it. Okay, let's let's do this. I'm okay now I have to let me let me just double check with this I think I have to fill in until this line discarded okay okay so I'm gonna spit it now this is kind of disgusting oh no oh so it's actually so it's actually good part when I spit it it's good part it goes here from here and you can see it from here I'm gonna look at the picture 
I'm not going to do this myself. Just make it come. 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 Just Should I make it feel like that? Yeah, so it's there. It's good until fill two, and then I close it until it makes a click sound. There. Whoa! It goes up, dude. It goes up. Whoa! Is that right? Okay. It goes up when I close it up. It goes up. Okay, so I just spit into the funnel until I'm done. It reaches the fill line. Hold the tube upright with one hand. Close the funnel with the other hand. By firmly pushing the lid until you hear laughter, the liquid in, in the lid will be released into the tube to mix with the saliva. Make sure that the lid is closed tightly. Oh, so the liquid over there, the one at the top of here, the one I saw earlier, that's why I was like confused. When you close it, it's automatically like um, poured down and mixed with the saliva. So, okay, so now you have to use the small... Okay, so now I have to uh, unscrew the funnel from the tube and discard. Use the small to close the tube tightly. Okay, so I have to unscrew this. Okay, and then I have to use this. So make sure you have this ready, right? So you don't get paranoia. Make it tight. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sound, whatsoever. And then you shake it. Shake the cap tube for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, one, six. Okay. Good. Okay. Now it becomes like that. See that? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this into the bag. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what is that for. Place the cap tube into the plastic bag containing the absorbent pad. And seal the bag. Do not remove the, do not remove the abs absorbent pad from the plastic bag. Okay. I thought that was like like a you know like a paper that you wipe for uh, uh, you you want to wipe your saliva for, but I guess it's for absorbent for some reason. Okay. And then you fill it. And then, oh, and then you just you just do this. There you go. Right. Done. And then place the sealed plastic bag into the original box. Okay. I'm just gonna hold it like this nicely. Right. Put it inside the original box here. I'm gonna put it here. See if you see that. Okay. Fill the strip. So there's a strip here. Can you see that? There's a strip. So I'm just going to fill the strip. Um... Okay, there's a strip. And then close that. Close, close nicely. Close nicely. Yeah. And then you can see it. Close it nicely. And just do that. Okay. Okay. That's it. Done. And then, and then the, the box is already here. Right? So you don't have to do anything. Just... just put it in your mailbox and raise the flag. And you're ready to go.